Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And today I want to spend a few minutes with you talking about tracking IDs. So if you want to track a specific product or a group of products, you can do that very quickly and easily. So once you sign up with the Amazon affiliate program, you sign into your Amazon associates, what you're going to do, even when you're at home, you're going to come up here to your email address, click on tracking, manage your tracking IDs, and it will take you here to this section. Now you'll see in here, you've got your selected tracking ID, and that is what you, what tracking ID you last clicked on, and that would be grouped under that. If you wanna switch, then you can just click on any of the hyperlinks and then just change it. Once you change it, any product you're searching for and you use the link, it would be tracked within that group, and you'll see in the reporting. There is a uh, reporting here, so, uh, this is for a smaller one that I had used, which is the reviews. And I sh should have been making more uh, IDs. I hadn't, but you'll see there's not that many products in here. Uh, in fact, there's some that are other products that people have clicked on because when I initially made this uh, ID, I had uh, done a link for uh, this product I had reviewed. Uh, but because other people click through the link, it's showing up on the report. <laughs> now, this is another one I have the tray for you. And you can see I've got a lot of products in here. And it goes pages long. Um, so uh, there's, if you just want it very generalized and you you know don't really care something specific, you can put in this report, but it could get very lengthy. So what's nice is to really just narrow down specific ID for a specific product. Like here, I'm going to do a microscope. So I set up this ID when I do my review, and then I could track it for the performance there. Now, if you want to add a tracking ID, just click Add Tracking ID. And let's just say you're going to want to track shoes. You click Create. And by the way, the Dash 20, if you click on that, it will tell you the Dash 20 is regarding North America. Nothing you need to worry about. It will just always be the dash 20. You just then click create. And now you can see here, sorry, the tracking ID is not available. It gives you three options to choose from. So if you wanted that one, you can say use selected. Otherwise you can try and create uh, another name. So now again, if I were to, let's just say, want to use reviews and track additional products within this ID, when I come here, to watch as, let me go ahead and we should be okay. I'm gonna click go, so it'll be refreshed. And now I click on the link here. You could see here, it's got reviews. So that would then show up in there and you could shorten the link. It's gonna be, um, when people click, they'll see that what they'll end up seeing is this long link. Now, if I were to come here, back and say, oh, you know what, I'd rather be in this group than now as long as it says Opti Telescope. And then I go back in, I click Go again, and then I click the arrow button down. You could see now it's the Opti Telescope. So this just makes it a whole lot easier uh, to work with. I'm going to start making, as I uh, do more and more reviews, click and create more tracking IDs and I don't think there's any limit uh, what you uh, the number of tracking IDs that you can do. And it just makes it so much easier for you when you want to go and see your performance, your earnings, your link performance, um, you know, creating different ones. If you wanted to see how one month over the other is, then um, although down the road, I guess you couldn't really do months. But if you wanted to, see, again, really comes down to the product. Um, you can kind of see for the month, but you then would might need to change the link um, back to that product for, let's say, you know, if you did for January, you have the product, you need to go back into your video and then you would need to create a new one for the next month. So there you go. This is just a, a little tutorial how to uh, set up your tracking IDs, how to change them. And let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate a thumbs up on this video if it was help. And I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.